Hey guys, how you doing? Checking in with you. Um, as I've spoken to a couple of you over the phone and in person in the last week or so, I do want to uh, cover the basics on how to begin a weightlifting program. So we're going to start very, 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 very simple today. We're going to determine how wide our snatch grip needs to be. And this is completely different for each and every person, whether that's yourselves or a client, because everyone has different length of arms and uh, torso and thighs. All right, so the first trick, this one's simple. Place your PVC pipe at the top of the crown of your head and try to find about 90 degrees on each elbow and then flip it down to the front of the thigh and test that, <clears throat> test that width by dropping in the universal athletic position and if it drops too far down onto the thighs, then that's not wide enough. Drop down in the universal athletic position and make sure that that PVC pipe is in the crease of the hips in the universal athletic position. So there's my snatch width grip. It was wider than I anticipated it to be based on that first assessment, but by second assessment, I was able to get into universal athletic position and it's in the crease of my hips. This is from the power position in order to complete a power snatch. <clears throat> so there's our very basic uh, snatch grip assessment. And here in a moment, <clears throat> I'm going to end this video, put up a new one about the snatch grip deadlift. <laughs> 